Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I'm going to do another one of my, um, <clears throat> sorry, pearl paw, but it's a dirty paw mixed with a straight paw. So I get quite different results each time and I don't have one in pink. So I decided I'm going to do a pink one. So the colours I have got this time is... Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Berry. I have Silver. And then I've got Extreme Sheen in Pink Tourmaline. So the way that we do this um, is... Actually, I'll give you the measurements first. The two metallics, um, they're a bit thicker. So they were... Seven, no, eight grams paint, <clears throat> pardon me, and 16 grams flow troll. So two two parts flow troll to one part paint. And then the um, pink tourmaline in extreme sheens is thinner. So that's one to one. So, so that was eight grams paint and eight grams flow troll. That's all I had left in my bottle. So it's not as quite as much of the berry, I mean, as the pink tourmaline as the other colors, but we just go with what we've got. Then I have black. This is 70 grams paint, 140 grams flow troll, and 21 grams water. This is Montmartre in black. So what we got to do is we got to pour two thirds to three quarters on the canvas. I'm going to go a little bit more actually. So I've probably gone three quarters this time. I normally do two thirds, but I wanted it a little bit more less in the cup. Now we just want to make sure that this canvas is covered. So we don't have to do this super um, perfect. I just want it to be covered on all sides just in case. Sorry about my head being in the way. And it's cold, so I've had a beanie on, so I've got terrible hair at the moment. So we just want this to be covered, just in case we don't go completely over all four sides. At least there's paint there. Um, you can do this with other colours. I do find the black or opaque colours seem to work better. Um, but it's not an absolute. If you want to do other colours... Test it out and see how it goes, because each colour does behave a little bit differently. Um, each brand behaves a little bit differently. Um, you just want your base coat to be a bit more thinner than your pearl colours. So I quite like the black um, look of them, so that's why I often use it. And I have done it with other colours. The paints do react a little bit differently so if you want a different look try out a different color and see what you actually get I'm all for having fun and experimenting um, there's with fluid art there's never really an absolute right or wrong way to do things you just have to go for it and have fun so I use a palette knife to coach my canvas you can use whatever tool you prefer um, this works well for me I've done it for a while now so um, it's probably my quickest tool to do it with I have used spatulas they were all right um, but they weren't for me I might try again and see if I get if I can work it out a little bit better. And this shouldn't matter whether you have a deep edge canvas or a thin edge canvas either. You just have to coat the whole thing like, um, like I'm doing now, just with a deep edge. So now we just want to get the paint coated and 
doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Now, for best results, just try and make it a little bit even. So there is a lot of paint on here, but that's because we do want it to slide across. So when I say do it even, it is a rough even. It is not perfect at all. Okay. Cleaning off my tool. So I've used this for ages. I clean my tools off straight away. It's not that dirty. It's still quite clean. I find that the best way. If you let things get too dirty and paint stuck on them, it takes forever to get it back off again. Now, no, I won't. Um, I feel like my gas bottle is getting low, but it still has gas in it. Just behaves a little bit different okay so I'm just stirring up my paint take this stick out now which color first I'm gonna go the berry always give your metallic a quick little stir before you pour it in so just pick a spot and pour it in from a height. Make it crash down into that paint. Most of it will sink and that's what you want at first. A whole bunch will sit on top, that doesn't matter. Just try and get most of it to sink down. And then just get the rest out of your cup. I don't like wasting any of this paint. This is my favorite. So I you try and use every drop. Now we've got the silver. So the silver was actually a little bit thicker. So I added uh, just a couple of grams more Floetrol. Um, not much, because as you can see, the cup is <laughs> as full as I could have got it while stirring. So again, hold it up high, smash it down into that paint. And all my pores are mixed with Australian Floetrol. Um, I presume this would work with other Floetrols, but I've never used them to actually know for sure. Now, last colour, Extreme Sheen Pink Tourmaline. Give it a stir. So these pinks are similar, but they are a little bit different. And again, up high. Smash that down into the other colours. Try to get your consistency with your three pearl colours as even as possible. Um, these three were not 100% even. I, they were pretty close, but there is a slight difference. But because it's slight, I'm not going to stress. Okay, now... We want to pinch the cup. I'm going to get dirty fingers here. Um, I might actually put gloves on first. Gloves are always optional. It just saves me going to work with coloured fingers. Because I can't always get it out from underneath the little cracking my finger okay so now we pinch our cup and as we pour we want to 
some of it to crash down like a dirty paw and some of it to actually sit on top like a straight paw. So the dirty paw part will give you, so when you do it up high and it smashes down, that will give you the pearls. The bit that you do when you get closer to the canvas won't actually create pearls, it will just um, kind of sell up a little bit. Okay, cool, getting some cool effects, now I'm going to torch it, now, this is strange, there's gas in there, a bit in there just not a lot so we're just going to pop these bubbles I've only got a very small flame because I think it's running out of gas so I am getting a little bit close to get a new bottle every time I get a new bottle it goes a little bit psycho so I just hesitate always getting a new bottle okay the longer you leave this the more pearls or cells will pop up now um, but I am going to start tilting it because it's running off this edge and I don't want it to do that yet so I'm not gonna go over the edge yet I'm just gonna go over to this side it gets close and then I'm going to come back I, I want a bit of movement happening but at the same time I'm just watching so as soon as you touch an edge with the colors the, any of the colors they will stick and just keep that in mind back I'm gonna go up to this corner come back okay I'm gonna start going over edges so I'm gonna come down to this bottom corner don't have to rush it just go at a pace Trying to get a nice little bit there because I don't want to tip off too much of the paint. But I need a bit to go over. Over the edge. Come back. Always come straight back to the centre, I find. I'm just going to make sure that I've covered that whole corner. So I usually just dab a little bit of the metallic paint that's on my finger from tilting over. Now I'm going to come down this way. Over and then come back. And again, just double check that you've gone all the way over, which that bit's metallic. There we go. Now, which corner next? I might go up this one. Am I back in the center? Yep. 
Looks like I'm going to lose a lot of the pink tourmaline because it came out first and sat on top. But it's okay, there are still some will come up in the pearls. Okay, here we go. I gotta chip quickly over and then back. Bring it back down into the center. Double check the corner. There we go. Now the last one, up this way. Over the corner and come back. Just going to check that corner while I'm at it. Yeah, just a tad at that bottom bit. There we go. Now I'm bringing this down back into the center. Sorry, guys, it's a little bit off screen, I think. Now, if there's any part you don't like now, get rid of it. But I do like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the paint a little bit so i'm just going to tilt it down this way but not tip tip any more off and then come back up and then i'm going to come back down again what i'm doing is i'm making the paint rub against each other and it usually brings up more pearls so down back up bring it back there i'm going to go down this way a little bit i am actually leave that like that so I'm just going to run my finger underneath. You can use your finger or you can use a palette knife. I just quickly go with my finger the first time and then I use a palette knife later. Okay, now. I'm going to take my gloves off. So you can see pearls are developing along the bottom here, up on that edge, and these cells um, are filling out. The color is still moving to the surface and pushing out that black. So this will keep changing. Just getting rid of my gloves. I have to buy another gas bottle. So I'll have to do that tomorrow. But for now, oops, paint on my, I'm gonna give it another torch. Now the gas bottle sounds better. I'm just giving it a quick torch, pop more bubbles. This second torching is optional. I just prefer to get those bubbles out of the way. And sometimes the heat does bring up more pearls. Sometimes, not all the time. Just don't let it sit at any spot for too long. Okay. This is nice. I like this. I've got pretty good, um, pretty good colours coming up. There's quite a lot of silver, but there's definitely berry. Um, I don't know if it's the berry or the pink tourmaline. It's hard to tell, but there's pink all, here, all through there, rivers of it running around, up and across here. And these pearls over here and down across the bottom, they're coming up pink and silver. Um, I'm kind of a mixture of the two. So what we have to do now is, we just have to pause this, or, well, I'm going to pause it, but we just have to wait. So you give it 15 minutes, 
um, 20 minutes depending on the thickness of the paint to see what else will develop. I am just doing another scrape because I don't want any of the pearls or reactions around the edges to get pulled off. I like them the way that they are. So I'm just doing a good scrape. Make sure there's no excess drips and also helps you learn whether the your canvas is completely level or not because if it's not the drips will keep going off one side more than the others. Now all as we can do is let this settle in, wait, and see what else um, decides it's going to come to the surface. So I'll probably say I'll be back in about 10 minutes, 15 at the most. Okay, pausing. Okay, we're back. So it's been probably 12 minutes-ish. Um, and definite more pearls. All through the bottom here, um, they've swelled up and made themselves showing more and there's pearls running through this area which has actually got um like the the metallic sitting and then you've got pearls running through it and more pearls running up around here so you've got definite silver there then we've got pink some pink and silver and then across the bottom it's a mixture of pink silver and some two-toned then we got this area in the middle which is the stuff that um, sat on top. It wasn't the dirty pore, it was more the straight pore. And it's created nice um, kind of cells, fluffy metallic clouds. They've swelled up and done their little thing. This will probably still change in about another 10 more minutes. Um, being cold at the moment, so it's winter here, it's probably about seven degrees celsius and the paints are just taking their time a little bit to develop um we want to do another scrape across the bottom just to make sure that we don't have too many more drips i am losing more paint on this edge than i am on other edges so that's telling me my table is slightly uneven but when I say slightly, I mean it is ever so slightly. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about that. So I'm not going to stress. But what I will do is I will leave this as is for now. I'll take some photos um, and bring it down for a close up. But it may just alter slightly, but it won't be very much. But I love it. I like the pink tone to it. So it's very silvery, um, probably because of this main section here. But the pink, um, so the berry and the pink tourmaline have just added that extra, extra bit to it. So this is what I mean by get different react or different each time. So that is one where the pearls have come up around the edge. Where this one here, they came up as like a cave towards the middle. So this was sapphire and aqua aquamarine with silver. And quite different. Actually, this one had sterling silver because these um, silver pearls are a little bit white in colour, not silver silver. But yeah, quite different. But um, I love it. And that's what I like when you do this. You will get slight differences each time um, and just have fun with it so that's all I can really say now it's just come down and have a look so I'm going to pause it and bring it down for a close-up okay there we go so my lighting doesn't show the whole picture it always shows this corner better than it does down over where are we this corner um, but there's definitely stuff happening over there so that's the whole artwork looking quite cool um, now let's come down and look at some of these pearls look how cool they are and this isn't showing the pinks as good as they could not so the pinks are actually more pink than what it's showing even along here see so you got the pink and the silver mixing 
kind of creating different effects. Up along the top, we've got some nice solid pink pearls and some um, silver ones there. And then down this side, we seem to get mostly pink ones until it reaches the bottom and then it changes again. So really cool effect. So the center part that is a straight pour is kind of like metallic clouds. And then the dirty pour gives you the pearls. So you can adjust the combination of how much straight pour and how much dirty pour you choose. Um, and it will give you different effects each time. So that is the fun part of it. And um, I love it. I like trying out different colors. I'm trying to get more colors. The paints, I'm gonna turn this light off, see if that makes a difference. This does seem to be more colors becoming available now. Um, I think the Mad Rush and the, the challenge of getting them is probably starting to disappear. So hopefully I can get all the different colors and do different different techniques and a bit more, a bit more fun with it. But look how cool it is. And you can tilt this different directions to get different effects. If you swirled it, if you did a waterfall pour, I'm, I, I'm going to actually do a waterfall pour. I keep saying I'm going to and forget to, but I'm going to have to. So this is it. So let me, not, oh, let me know what you think. Um, comment, like, share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will get some good photos and when it's dry, I'll get more um, photos again. My artwork's taking quite a while to dry at the moment um, with the cold weather. I don't use heaters in my home because I don't want um, my artworks to crack. So I just have to wait for them to wait for them to dry when they do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a lot of fun and I'll see you soon for another pour. Oh, and thanks everyone for my well wishes. I'm actually feeling better. So um, I was a bit unwell and didn't do any artwork for a few days or uh, mediocre artwork when I tried to do one. Um, but yeah, all good and you'll see more artwork soon. Okay, have a good night. Bye.